good, guys. Welcome to the show where we research conspiracies and all things paranormal. Hello. What's good? So, we're new to this. Yeah. So, this is obviously about conspiracies and mysteries and all things paranormal. So, in this channel, you'll see a lot of different stuff, like... A lot of different stuff. <laughs> oh, it's funny, I don't know. Like, we use this Ouija board a Ouija. lot. Ouija. We Ouija. go to cemeteries, we will... Ghost like, hunt. And we'll have conspiracy videos and a lot of other stuff. So, subscribe. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> Disclaimer. All theories and opinions said in this video are for entertainment purposes only. Don't sue us! <laughs> so, he will take you into our first theory about interdimensional shit. Interdimensional stuff, because we can't say shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, well, you know what I'm saying, there's multiple different dimensions. Some people say there are 11, some people say that there's 12, 7. Well, I think, like, we are, this is 3D. This is a fact. Like, Earth is 3D. And then we we can achieve up to a 7D level, but extraterrestrials are said to be 7D and above, which is what we can't access now. Well, I mean, there's theories against that saying that you can access that, and we'll get into that later. But there is... Like I said, multiple different dimensions, and what they say Earth would be is like a seed, and then all around it, and above and over, uh, damn, below that one, the uh, there's just dimensions everywhere that you can uh, <coughs> fucking yeah. And when aliens do come to contact us in another year, or so like it's a gonna happen, and they're gonna look, they're not gonna look like aliens like ET. Well, some of them will, but those when are they called grays. When they do come here, they're going to look just like us. And they're going to be on an entire different dimensional level. And we'll recognize it. And some people say that when we do meet them and come in contact with them, they're going to feel, we will feel a lot of different emotions. Because they radiate on something so much higher than what we have ever felt before in our lives that we're not going to know what to do. Okay, so another thing about... Uh, interdimensional things is the fact that they can use radio waves and different frequencies to contact us, which is why they, the, the ghost transmitters or whatever, they, it's static, right? Just like if you have your radio, your car radio on, with auto, damn, not on a channel. Like, it's the same process, so they use, because the, the frequencies go into the other dimension. So they can use that, and that's why your TVs can get shut off, or your channels can get changed, and shit like stuff like that. Like, for example, the other day we were using the Ouija board, and there will be a video on this next week when it gets posted. We were using the Ouija board, and Matt is sitting right off camera playing his video game, and the ghost messed with it, and it made him mad. <laughs> oh, at the University of Washington... Under Bill Gates, apparently people, they will shut your heart off for five minutes, and... Hey guys, I just wanted to update you because I'm editing this right now. And when we started talking about when Washington was... Oh my god, this lighting is so bad. When Washington State would stop people's hearts for five minutes and then pump oxygen into their system, they said it made them have, like trippy stuff happened to them to where they would communicate with the interdimensional creatures and that they would start doing that a lot and that's something they did I don't know if that's proven or not but it's a theory and it's an interesting theory because I wouldn't want my heart to stop for five minutes to get blood pumped in not blood, oxygen pumped into me to see some trippy intergalactic interdimensional stuff but it's midnight and i'm loopy so i'm gonna keep editing and go to bed okay bye so now there's another thing that we want to talk about called astral projection which i do not recommend you even try to do 
Yeah, I don't want to do it. It's, it sounds really scary. So astro astral projection is known as an out of body experience, an OBE, and it is said to be when it can happen during like a near death experience or even when you're just falling asleep. And it a lot of times it can happen accidental, but there's people out there who will do it on purpose to want to get to the astral plane. And it's when your body is still in a conscious state, but your soul will leave your bodily vessel and go to the astral plane. And the astral plane is like, it's a realm, like on earth, we are on an earthly realm right now. And they say that that's the lowest one. And then when your soul projects into the astral realm, it goes to another level. And that is said where spirits reside. And then above, there is the heavenly realm. So when you die and your soul goes up, you're going to go through the spirit realm and then to the heavenly realm. And I guess that's where a lot of spirits will get trapped between the spirit realm and the heavenly realm. Because the spirit realm, you can come in back to the earthly realm and contact us as a spirit through portals like Ouija boards and like other things that ghost hunters will use to contact them. <clears throat> and your body is asleep you are sleeping while your mind is awake so when a lot of people do it they will feel mentally drained and they will just their bodies will be energized but their minds will just be so drained and tired kind of like how when you use a Ouija board all of your energy gets drained mentally because you're using your energy in your body as a portal to communicate with something else and it can lead if you do it a lot it can lead to like depression suicide all of that stuff <sighs> okay. so a reoccurring theme that you'll hear going throughout these types of conspiracies is that, is that your body is a vessel yes so there are other theories that we're going to touch on based around that but yeah and if you do want to try it and you're religious, I would cough. Okay. I would advise against it. Oh, that one. Yeah. Unless, because a lot of religions like Catholicism have condemned it as being sorcery or witchcraft because they say that your, your soul leaving your body is a death experience. Like, when you, that's only supposed to be one time and one time only. Like, but. But, like, Hinduism and other religions practice it religiously through a form of yoga. So, if you do want to do it and you're religious, just check with your religion and, like, and your beliefs and make sure that you are not in the wrong. But I would never do it at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> just don't do it. There are ways to protect yourself that is said to be... And it is said like crystals and like healing rocks can protect you because it's said that when you do astral project, you can see bad entities like demons. But other people will say that it's only a positive thing. That's all you'll see. But I don't know because I've never done it and I never will. And... So some people say that when you do see bad things, if you imagine like this white, like not orb, but like a white ambiance light around you. Ambiance. Yes. That you're protected and you won't get hurt. But then other people say that like that's not possible. And then it's you, if you think you're gonna see bad things, you're going to see bad things. It'll feed off your fear. And what you think will happen. One of the dimensions is, like I said, they're all around the earth. So there's the earth, then there's a space here before you get to the heavenly realm. So that would be, this would be the stairway or like, portal? portal, I guess you could say, of where you would be going if you astral projected. So once you're there, like she said, Like she said, you, you'll see different entities. You, a lot of people say that you'll see little kids or... A lot of people say you can see whatever you want to see in there. But one of the dangers of it is that if you don't get back to your body, your soul could be stuck over there. 
But then other said. things that I hear that is said that, so it's also said that your body and your soul have this elastic band connecting them so you can never like detach yourself and get stuck there. I don't know what would happen if you did ever get stuck there, if you would like be in a coma. It kind of, you, it said you can go like anywhere in the world and you, when you want to come back to your body, all you got to do is just think about coming back and you'll just apparently snap right back. If you look this up, everybody will tell you something different about it. So like she's saying, she heard about an elastic band keeping you there. I heard about you can literally get stuck there by other entities carrying you and making you lost. Because a lot of people that say while they do it, they wake up in their house and they can walk around their house, but they'll see anybody that has died there or any spirits that are residing there. So and what bad entities can do is what I've researched and learned is that they can be carrying you out and you'll get lost. And I've heard that when you are trying to like when it said that your soul is just now like leaving your body it'll feel like something is pulling you out and it you can hear like voices saying like come on let's get her out and it it people take that as a negative experience as like a demon trying to pull you away like take your soul which again I don't know because I've never done it but there is a difference between astral projection and lucid dreaming, which is what I, I think a lot of people get confused about it because lucid dreaming is when you are awake in your dream, but your body is like your mind is unconscious. Like you, you are dreaming, but when you are astral projecting, your body is asleep, but your mind is still awake, if that makes any sense. And again, every culture will have a different version of the same thing. So Japan will have its own version of astral projecting, just like any other country, if you look it up. And now, this is something that, like, this is a reason why I will never do it. It's called shape shifters. <laughs> shape shifters. Shape shifters. And... Those are spirits that can shape form into anything they want. They're, they're evil entities. And just like how when like you see these ghost hunters on TV and they hear that there's like a child haunting something. A demon can take the form of a child to make you want to feel rem remorseful. Not remorseful, but you want to gain their trust and make you like feel bad for them and like want to contact them more and then when you are at your weakest point they will attack you and what well, all right i'll go but like just like the ouija board if you contact the spirit and it says that it's a child what they'll do is they'll say it's a child or your long lost relative and they'll try to tell you what happened to them and try to make you feel sorry for them and gain your trust and then that's when they, you keep going back to them and contacting them and you, do, and you slip up, you don't slide over or say goodbye or you don't say that they can't lash themselves to you. That's when they'll come and then they'll lash themselves to you and then do what they do. And it's said that that can also happen when you are astral projecting that if you encounter a negative spirit and you're not using protection but people say that protection like it doesn't even work like like, I've seen pictures of people who will be like laying there and have like crystals all over their body and rocks to help with the vibrations and it I just don't understand how like that would all work but um, that some people say that a spirit or a, a negative entity can't attach itself to your soul and that when you come back like nothing will be attached to you but other people have said that they have had a spiritual attachment and that they just haven't felt right since they came back to the 3D dimension. And some negative entities will pose as the astral projector's significant other and get them to have intercourse, sex sexual relations with them because apparently that's a thing that a lot of astral projectors like to do because apparently it's better than sex on earth. Oh, just for you, just so if you don't know, 
I've also researched and found that sex stands for sacred energy exchange. So that just keep that in mind. Why do people astral project? And I'm like falling in between this, these couch cushions. Um, ow. Okay. Why do people astral, pro astral project? A lot of people do it because they say that when they come back, they can feel spiritually healed. They will come and they will go into the astral realm looking for like closure from a dead relative or just trying to like escape for a bit or something because they say it's mind clearing and healing and yeah. From the research that I've done, the reasons that they say that people have done it, like they've say, said that Albert Einstein has done it, Benjamin Franklin, and like anybody that's somebody has done it. And the reason that they do it is to gain knowledge and enlightenment. So their theory on that is that you can go there and figure out any world problems that you that you think need to be fixed and find the answer for it. And that does make sense because on the level, the dimension level that we are on, like the level of enlightenment is 7D, but you can also project into a different dimension, astral projecting, and gain more enlightenment. Like you'll have a happier heart, you'll feel better. You won't feel all of this negative energy that goes on inside of you when you're on this dimension. Exactly. But that is what we learned. That's what we re researched on the interdimensional stuff, stuff and uh, astral projection. There's still more that goes into it, but this is just a short, brief intro to what we've learned. There's still a lot more that we know and we can share with you, but if you want a second part to this video, like, subscribe, and let us know. Definitely what we want you to do is comment any conspiracies that you want to learn about more down in the comments and we'll do our best to get that out to you. Because we love learning new conspiracies and thinking about new things.